model consists of PV and battery with bidirectional converter. And this is a control for the battery, right? So you told me that uh, you have to implement two cases. So one is case one, nothing but varying irradiation condition, case two, nothing but varying load condition. So this constant bug is to for selecting the case one, case two, and you are going to put zero here. The more this simulation will be operated then case one. When you are going to put case one means the simulation model will be operated then case two. Okay. In case zero condition or the case one condition, so we are measuring the PV current and okay, and then that going to be converted into thousand amps scale and it going to be compared with the reference current that means uh, some current right so not to get the the logic uh, that means when there is low irradiation condition battery should be discharged when there is high irradiation condition battery should be charged condition so for that we created this logic okay so based upon that pv current it will be generated the reference current not to battery goes for the charging mode to charging mode so based upon this irradiation condition so and also here uh, for case two condition here we are measuring the load load power so that going to be converted into current so here also we are created some logic when is load is very high battery goes for the charging condition when load is very low battery goes for charging condition so for that we are created this logic okay so here the based upon load power so it will generate the reference current for discharging and charging of battery so here we have switch right so the switch used to for selecting the mode when based upon this value this value okay when equal to zero it going to be allow this reference current part only okay that means case one reference current so when change the constant equal to one it going to be allow this reference current allow okay so based upon this case one and two so the reference going to be the current will be changed okay so finally here we will get reference current based upon case one case two it going to be compared with the battery current and it's going to be processed by a PA controller, so it will generate the good circle. So it going to be processed with PWM generator, so it will generate the pulse. So this pulse will be given to these two IGPT. <laughs> so not to charge the battery and discharge the battery. So based upon the reference current of the case one case two. So here we are measuring the battery power. <laughs> so here we are measuring the battery current. So this is battery voltage. So this is source of the battery. <laughs> and here we are mentioning the uh, power of the PV panel. So here the power ratings mentioned is in terms of 100 kilowatt. So here I'm going to mention, mention 20. So 20 into 100, 2000 kilowatt. So totally 2000 kilowatt, like 2 megawatt. Current line voltage of the grid side will be 400 the grid frequencies we are going to consider as 50 hertz okay so this is nominal power okay uh, 2 megawatt so this is the pv panel rating so here you have to put 20 okay and then plot right so we will get the the pv cat as 6 okay So you can see here, right, the maximum power is around 2 megawatt, right? We can change the detail, this detail also, you can see the 
the EVPV cat is x per different irradiation condition. So here you can see that the maximum power is around 2 megawatt. Okay. So this is rating of the single panel maximum power open circuit voltage voltage at maximum power point current at maximum power point. Okay. So here here in this the model is inside that block right. So that's why you are not get result initially okay that means the p mode nothing but you have to take the value from here right so this is p mode so that value should be typed here right then only you can see the plot of ivpv for different temperature and different irradiation condition okay So next the battery is connected here, okay. Like here, that means this point, right? So this point is battery connection point by a bidirectional converter. So the same point here, right? Battery connected here. We have this link, okay. This is this link, and then this is inverter, and then this is LC filter, and then so this is step up transformer. And then this is inverter control. So inverter control have P and O MBPT. Okay. So P and O MBPT receive two inputs. PV voltage and current, and it going to be process. So this is P one P O MBPT basic P one MBPT. Okay. So it going to be uh, generate the reference voltage. Okay. So this reference voltage going to be compared with the DC link voltage. So this is a DC link voltage, it will be measured here. So this voltage, right? So the DC link voltage measured here and process via PA controller. Okay, so it will be processed via PA controller. Okay, this is voltage regulator. Okay, it will be generate the ID reference. So this is ID reference, okay, reference current and here we need to measure the the voltage okay voltage of uh, grid inverter and current of the grid inverter okay so by using uh, here we are converting that the, the solar UV grid inverter voltage into per unit value and then we are changing the omit so here we are converting that abc abc to dq naught form okay and here we are taking only VDVQ and IDIQ and here we have that reference current ID reference so this is IP reference so inside this is feed forward common function control okay so here we are <laughs> comparing IDIQ IDIQ reference with the IDIQ actual and process via PA controller okay it will generate the control voltage so this is feed forward common shifting common system right so this is also generating some voltage so finally you have to add both this voltage con output of PA controller and output of feed forward common shifting so finally we have VDVQ control voltage okay so after that here we need to convert the VDVQ into actual ABC. Okay, so this is a control used to for converting VDVQ into ABC. Okay, VDVQ. So here you have to measure real imaginary part and then magnitude and phase angle, and then you have to use that uh, uh, multiplication with the sine waveform, right? Three phase sine waveform. Finally, we get the ABC reference. Then it going to be processed via PWM generated block. So it will generate the pulse. So, so this pulse going to be given to this inverter, right? So this is going to control the power flow from the PV to grid. So here we are connecting the load. So here we are connecting in the load, right? three loads. Okay. So this two load having circuit breaker so that means this circuit breaker will be turned on 
based upon the case right so when case one is executed right so it won't be allow this one that means circuit breaker always closed condition throughout the simulation okay for 14 second when case 2 is implemented so it will be allow this control signal okay so in this control signal you can see that i'm going to that means up to 4.6 seconds the control signal will be zero after 4.6 seconds the control signal equal to one so that means the breaker will be off for from zero to 4.6 4.6 seconds after 4.6 seconds the circuit breaker will be closed the same way here we used the, the step time is 9.2 seconds so up to 9.2 seconds the control signal will be equal to 0 after 9.2 seconds the control signal which is equal to 1 so here you can see that so up to up to this 9.2 seconds circuit breaker will be open after 9.6 9.2 seconds circuit breaker will be closed so this circuit breaker going to be uh, use this control signal step signal during the case to condition so this control circuit breaker always on during that uh, case one condition so this is for implementing the change in load condition okay so here you can see that here we are creating the change in irradiation condition so initially the irradiation equal to 200 200 1000 1000 200 200 so it will be uh, create like this okay so for that we create a like that okay so this is for case one and then here we have the irradiation equal to 1000 so this is for a case two condition so based upon this constant uh, when the is zero means case one condition it will allow this irradiation condition if constant equal to one it going to be allow this okay. and then here we are having wind turbine right in generator so rating is three megawatt okay so here we connected that wind turbine here in the common bus so this is a default model model available in the matlab Okay, so you can click help here, right? So just you copy a PFIG wind turbine in the Google PFIG wind turbine simulation. Okay, so here you can see that we get the model detail. So this is the, the same wind turbine model we are using here in our model, okay? But rating will be three megawatt. So uh, we can go inside. So this uh, model of the wind turbine. So here we are using wind turbine model, and then drive train. So this is a drive train, okay? So this is a wind turbine model detail and then this is known as TFIG so it is having two winding stator winding and rotor winding the stator winding directly connected with the point of common coupling so rotor winding is going to be connected to the stator via two converter right so here we are using one convert converter so that means this is one converter so this is another converter okay so why we are using this converter right so ta page will be generate 50 hertz right in stator side but rotor side this frequency will be 2 hertz so we cannot connect directly this line to this okay so we must convert this 2 kilohertz to 50 hertz okay sorry 2 hertz to 50 hertz okay so further you have to convert this AC into DC and then you have to convert DC into AC so here we are converting AC to DC form here we are converting DC to AC with the frequency of 50 hertz so then we can we can take the power of rotor side and then fit back to the point of common coupling so this is the DFAG working okay so these are the control already available in the 
TA by G model. Okay. So this is speed regulator and pitch control. So this is third side converter control, water side converter control. Okay. So everything uh, in this MATLAB, right? We are just to use the model from the MATLAB. So it will be provide the power to this system. Okay. And also here we have diesel generator. The diesel generator we are created 5 megawatt and then 400 or 50 hertz. Okay. So here go inside, right? It have two model. One is continuous model and a discrete, discrete model. So both are the same kind of model. So this is uh, when, uh, diesel generator, right? So both are having same model, right? Same model. So when you are going to select continuous model, it will be select continuous model. And when you have to select the discrete, then it will be select the discrete model. So it, it received two input mode and two PQWB reference. So here we have that, uh, that mean this is a default model created for the diesel generator. So here we have two control. So one is PQ control, another is PV control. In PQ control, we are going to control the power, right? Real power as well as a reactive power. But in PV control, we are going to control only real and uh, voltage. Okay. So based upon mode selection, it follows the control logic. PQ control or a PV control. And then uh, this is nothing but uh, uh, diesel, uh, diesel engine governor control or prime over control. So this is nothing but acceleration control or EAVR control. Right? So this is a diesel uh, generator. Okay, it's going to be connected to the common bus. Okay. So here I can uh, choose the PV control mode and then this is a command input for the diesel generator like PV power Q10. Okay, that means uh, voltage reference, speed reference, power reference and then Q reference. Okay. So here you can make zero here. Now I am going to submit the model. Now I am going to submit the model for case one. So here you can see the different scope, right? So scope used for measuring the PV, measuring the load, measuring the battery detail, measuring the wind. Okay. So here you can see that it will simulate for 14 seconds. Okay. It will take 10 minutes time to complete the simulation. After completing the simulation, just go to click this one, right? This one, so we will get the auto scale. Okay, you will get the full detail that means scope detail. Same way, you can see that the low detail. So now I mentioned in the time is 0 to 0 0.2. If you want to see the full scope, then you can click this one, right? So this battery detail and then this is when generated detail okay we can change the case here one and then it will be operate in case two condition okay so same way you can see the results after completion of simulation thank you